Terry here again. If you've seen any of my videos, you've probably seen the ones of the roofing hoist. I got several on there of these roofing hoists I, buy, I build and sell on eBay. And they just, when the hoist motor is on, it just pulls the platform up and down. The thing about them too here is I cut this at a slant so that when the ladder's leaning back, this is more level. This is level with the ground. However, you can see how they're cut here. I cut them at a 15 degree angle so that when they fit on here they make that slant. Let's see if I'm wide as I can go. There we go. They'll make that slant. But here's a piece I had left over. If you put them like that and it goes straight out, you can make an elevator. And I made one here this morning with the platform going out. I haven't really braced it or anything. Uh, just put a board on it. Stood it straight up and lashed it with a piece of chain just to keep it from going back. Now the idea is if you live in a in a house on the poles or if you want an elevator in your house it goes up and down you can use this. Let me run it down here. The controls are six feet long. So they don't reach the bottom but the idea is you would load it up and also like unlike these that the motor is at the bottom you put the motor at the top and it can just pull the um, platform up so I don't know if I can do this with the camera running too but I'll try so suppose you want to take your firewood I got a big old block there that I hadn't split and some here pretty heavy you can load it up on your hand truck, run your hand truck up on the platform, and go upstairs, press your button. I might have it leaning back a little bit. Then you run it up to the second floor. Of course, you just go up there and roll your hand truck, your firewood off onto your porch, into your house. Of course, this is slanted because this is a roof, but it would match up. And you get everything up on the second floor very easy. And I would leave it up until I got ready to... transport something else and then I would run it back down. This is a prototype. It still needs a little more things like I need to extend this this part here and put a brace underneath where it won't get in the way which will mean you'll have something sticking down so if you put this uh, most of those houses uh, most houses that are elevated like that just have dirt you can dig out to let the bottom part go on down and support uh, provide space for more support up underneath it. Also you're probably never going to let it all the way down unless you dig a hole because this thing's about three inches under there. So you can make this a little ramp and run it up and run it off of there. If you have any doubts about the power of this, that motor will lift 880 pounds. So it's a Harbor Freight. They sell for about $120 or $30 most of the time, and you can get a 20% discount. So I got them. I got these motors for $103. Not bad. You can get a smaller motor for less, but it's only about $20 less, and these work very good. And, uh, well, let's see here. It's probably illegal. It violates all kinds of OSHA regulations, but if Grandpa was up there and I needed to get him out, Put him on this and run him out. Run him down without having to try to carry Grandpa down the ladder. Also, if you got a tub like this, you could just turn it upside down over the uh, top of your ladder there to keep water out of your motor. Using a plastic tub, you might want to make something look a little nicer. 
but I set it on the top so you can operate it from up there. Also, you could have something like a laundry basket uh, strapped to a very small hand truck and run your groceries up, or you could get some these crates from the dollar store that are like milk crates and stack them. The idea is you just run the hand truck on there and you just take it off and go in your house. If you unloaded your, your car here with your groceries or you wanted to move up firewood or maybe even take up some furniture, you'd have to cut a hole into your uh, deck, into your porch area, and brace it against the outside real good right there and tie it off so the ladder don't tip inside. But uh, that's another use for it, which I think might come in handy for people. If you're looking at an elevator, you're looking at $10,000 to make some kind of elevator. This whole setup is about $700. Right now, this is uh, September of 2014. Stuff's going up so fast, inflation's hitting from all the money printing. 